President Uhuru Kenyatta has a major decision to make later in the week when he returns from New York, United States, where he is attending a United Nations summit. The International Criminal Court is now in session. The trial chamber handling his case at the International Criminal Court has ordered him to appear in person during the status conference next month to deliberate on Prosecutor Fatou Ben Souda's claim that he was using his position to block her from accessing vital information she requires to prove her charges against him. But the Jubilee Coalition's leadership in Parliament wants the President to ignore the summons altogether. Lakini wamesema, Rais Tarenane aende huko. Why do you need the president to come to the status conference? Why not his lawyers? So what she is trying to do is that she wants to humiliate the president. Thank you, Your Honor. My name is Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. The last time Kenyatta was in the dock at the ICC as an accused person was in May 2011 during the pre-trial status conference presided by Judge Ekaterina Trendafilova. At that time, he was the Deputy Prime Minister. Should he appear before the trial chamber presided by Judge Kuniko Ozaki next month as ordered, he will become the first sitting head of state in the dock since the ICC was established. <laughs> Rais alichaguliwa na hao watu wa hega ama ni sisi tulichagua. Na ni vizuri sasa tuwaonyeshe kwamba that Kenya is a sovereign state. How can you accuse somebody and you tell him to prove that he is guilty instead of proving that he is innocent? Should Kenyatta defy the trial chamber summons, he risks being slapped with a warrant of arrest and become a pariah head of state like his Sudanese counterpart Omar al-Bashir. The African Union, during a special summit convened at Kenya's request in October last year, resolved that no sitting head of state should face trial at the ICC. And when they fail to provide any evidence, they start talking about postponement or adjournment of a case indefinitely. For how long can you wait to be taken to court? If you don't have evidence, you might as well. Just dismiss the case. Some victims of the 2007-2008 post-election skirmishes from Nakuru County have also joined the debate on whether Kenyatta should honor next month summons to appear. Hakuna malipopote anaenda. Tutakuwa hapo kwa, kwa Nairobi kwa kiwanja ndege hakuna penyata ene. Tutalala hapo. Kenyatta is facing five charges at the International Criminal Court. They are murder, rape, forcible transfer of population, persecution and other inhumane acts. Francis Gashore Sunday Live.